Hello, Tony Burke here again with screencast number seven in our series for construction study students at the University of Westminster to introduce them to Revit 2014. This is a relatively brief screencast because all we're going to do is add in the doors and windows to our 3D model. So if we can go directly into Revit, uh, you'll recall that in the last screencast, this is where we left off. Um, our model is starting to take shape. We added in our internal partitions in the last screencast, but you can see that the building still looks very incomplete because there are no doors or windows, and that's what we're going to do in this screencast. So we'll go directly to the ground floor level floor plan. We'll zoom in a little bit, and um, actually placing doors and windows is, is quite straightforward, but there's just um, one small aspect that I need to cover. Um, Firstly, we go up to the architecture ribbon at the top, we select door, and we can see straight away that the, uh, the range of doors available to us in the properties palette is rather limited. So it's at this point that it's appropriate to introduce you to the idea of loading additional families of components into Revit. And there are quite a few um, aspects of Revit where you want to add in whether it be furniture or doors or windows or roof types or structural items where the default settings within Revit are fairly limited but if you look along the ribbon uh, when you've when you've got a, a relevant um, component open there will normally be an option to load family and um, what this does when you select it if I click on that a new box opens and there is a whole range of additional families of components that can be added into the file. So obviously we're working on doors at the moment. So if I double click on that folder, uh, I want initially some external doors um, and there's dozens of additional doors to choose from. And if you select any one of them, a little image of the door appears on the right hand side. Now the type of door I want is um, a fairly straightforward um, external single door uh, with some glazing bars. So if I uh, look for an appropriate door, um, something like that, or perhaps that one. That one looks uh, the sort of door that I'd envisage. So I'm going to select that door. I click on open and what that now does is it adds that door type into the properties palette. And if I click on the down arrow, I can see that it's not just one door that's been added in, but there are three uh, doors of different sizes, all of the same design, but different dimensions have been added into the palette. I'm going to go with the 910 by 2110 millimeters, and once I've selected that, then uh, positioning the door is actually very straightforward because all I now do is move across to the floor plan, uh, select where I want the door to go and as you can see as soon as I uh, get to an appropriate external wall the door with its swing appears and you can see that as I move the, the door position the dimensions change. I'm going to position the door centrally in that hallway so you can see from the dimensions there that there's 570 millimeters either side of the door and simply by clicking it that that now uh, positions the door uh, in that external wall. I want to carry on now and position um, a pair of double doors that are going to open out into the garden from the lounge dining room. Um, so again we need to load a family. Again, we select the, the, the doors folder and the external doors. This time, though, I want to go down and select some uh, double doors. Um, let's have a look what um, this one looks like. That looks about right. So again, I just select open. That is now added into the properties palette for this file. Uh, I look at the sizes that are available to me. I'm going to go for the larger size and the procedure is exactly the same as before. I position my um, crosshairs or the, the I, I move the, the mouse so that the door itself 
is um, positioned in the location where I want to install the door and I simply um, click. I should just point out that it's quite important to uh, hover over the correct side of the wall. Uh, I am here hovering over the outer leaf of the cavity wall. You'll notice that if I move the, um, the crosshairs inward and hover over the inner leaf then it actually changes the position of the wall and it, it confuses it a little bit because it thinks that that, that will then be the outer leaf but um, I actually want to make sure that I'm hovering over the outer leaf and you can see again I've got the dimensions about of exactly right 1545 mil either side I click there and that has inserted the door now I actually want these um, this door to open outwards rather than inwards so that's a simple task to undertake because all I need to do is to actually um, point at the door click on it it's highlighted now in blue and if I now right click as I'm pointing at it you can see that um, one of the options in the menu that appears is to flip facing what that will do if I click on it is just flip the door around the other way so now those doors open outwards so that's our two external doors installed let's now start adding in some internal doors and again we go over to doors we uh, in the properties palette click on the drop down menu and there is actually a suitable internal single door available uh, within that menu it's just a straightforward single door a flush door I'm not going for anything fancy um, so I select that one and then I go around and decide where I want to position my doors so I'm going to put a door in at that location there um, a door at um, that location there I'm going to have another door into the kitchen at that point there, another door into a bedroom there, a door into a bedroom there, and a door into the bathroom at that point. So um, that's all the doors I want, but I'm not happy with the, the the handing of some of these doors um, so I'd like to adjust them this door I'd like to um, to make some adjustments to so again I I simply point at it until it's highlighted in blue um, right click flip the hand and that now opens in the other direction same for this door here right click flip hand that door opens in the other direction um, I think I might actually flip the face of that door get it open the other way and I think I'm reasonably happy with that so that's all our all our doors obviously if we decide at a, a later point to change some of our doors then it's very easy to do so we just uh, select the doors delete them or change the handing or change the style of doors anything we want okay let's now add in some windows so the procedure is pretty much the same on the ribbon at the top in the architecture tab we select windows uh, again in the properties palette clicking on the drop down menu shows us that there is a very very limited range of windows to choose from um, so we need to go across to load family um, and clicking on load family scrolling down through the box to the folder at the bottom where we've got windows I double click on that to open it and I'm going to select um, a double glaze window um, which is simply um, let's have a look at that one there that looks about the style of window that I think is appropriate for us so I'm going to open that one again the, that family of windows is now added into our properties palette and if I click on the down arrow um, you can see that that window is available in a, a, a wide range of sizes I'm going to select 1810 by 910 as the size that I want and 
Again, you can see that the sill height has been set at 1200. I'm happy with that. So all I now need to do is to go around and position a series of windows in the floor plan. Procedure is the same as before. You need to hover over the outer leaf of the cavity wall. So I'm going to position a window uh, into the lounge diner at that point. So click there. Um, a window into that bedroom. Again, centrally located. Click there. Uh, a window into the kitchen. Click there. Another window into that bedroom there. In each case, notice that I'm hovering over the outer leaf and I'm ensuring that I'm centering the window. So in each case, the dimensions either side of the window are the same. And I'm going to put in one more window, but I'm going to put it here in the side elevation rather than in the front elevation into the bathroom. So um, if I click on there, that should have added in all of our windows. OK, so that's now added in all of our doors and windows. And I think the next thing to do is to have a look at that now in the 3D view. And at last, we can start to see something that's uh, really resembling a, uh, a property now so we can we can zoom in a little bit closer there we can have a look at what they look like um, from all angles uh, and I'm I'm pretty happy with that um, there are sufficient doors to the property um, the windows well I mean they're not outstanding we can always change them at, at, at a later date but as a starting point I think that's perfectly adequate and um, I think that from our point of view um, that would that will certainly serve the, the purpose that we require so we're getting there um, all we've really got to, to do now is to to add on the roof and um, we've got a, a, a fully built 3d model of our bungalow okay thank you